गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स माई सब कमलनाथ आई वेलकम यू ऑल डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेकेंड सेशन ऑफ द वीडियो दिस इज ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर द प्ले ऑफ विलियम शेक्सपियर एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू द हाफ पार्ट ऑफ द स्टोरी इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट यू मस्ट बी द मेमरी हेयर द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द जस्ट स्टोरी in which i had already told you that the actors artisans are practicing on the stage they are practicing the here a rehearsal puck is delivering the dialogue and at the same here bottom was delivering the dialogue sorry and puck uh, here enters the scene when puck saw them Uh, he is uh, surprised he is worried in fact he didn't know anybody so he is wondering who they are what are they doing there so let's hear uh, and uh, bottom is here speaking uh, just the dialogues of pyramus so let us see here what is the next part of the story that continues here and that is what here the uh, third part of the day uh, second part of the story bottom uh, just confess the word here yeah? bottom con uh, confuses the word uh, orders with odious means he pronounces here yeah? orders with the odious and exits goes out exits here goes out puck remarks to himself that bottom makes for a, a strange pyramid and follows bottom flute then speaks as this way saying that pyramus complexion complexion means is the color the look of someone that is a complexion so saying that pyramus complexion uh, combines the delicate white of the lily and the brilliant red of rose on a magnificent rose bush how it really appears how it looks he is a lovely and energetic with youth as loyal as a horse that would never get tired a horse that is very faithful so loyal and never gets tired they are just in our service this we says she shall meet pyramus at nine stone and flute with his limited knowledge and flute has very limited knowledge and he doesn't know exactly how to pronounce that one he makes a mistake and calls it ninis tongue ninus tongue he pronounce like ninis tongue pyramus is supposed to enter while thisbe is speaking bottom enters again he does puck however puck has changed bottom's head into an s as his head as you have already just here supposed to know this one here and i have told you puck changed the head of bottom and he had put the head of an s and the other axon means this kind of hair this hair uh, just uh, axon is scared at this strange sight and they all were frightened and seeing this sight they all run away <coughs> sorry bottom things that they are up to some uh, just uh, cavalry or uh, mischief they are just really playing a trick on him to scare him he was thinking that those people other here characters those who are rehearsing with him they are scaring him snout comes back and tells bottom that he changed bottom asks if snout sees a fool as a great as uh, himself using the word as head not knowing that that is what he is wearing means he is wearing uh, just an s head snout runs away again and 
queens comes back only to tell bottom that he is changed he also came to tell that bottom was changed because on his head was the head of an s pak has changed his head bottom thinks that they are trying to scare him and make a fool as s of him they are making him that he was looking like an s he thought so that they are trying to scare to so that he is not frightened bottom begins walking up and down and singing just to show that he is not frightened to show them bottom begins means start walking up and down and he singing the sound of his singing wakes titania who is sleeping there only where the rehearsal is taking place titania is sleeping and they didn't know so when bottom started singing this sound woke up titania puck had put the juice of the magic flower on titania's eyelids that i had already explained you in the uh, just beginning here so puck had done some mischief he had put some magic juice of a flower in titania's eyelids she tells bottom that she loves his song so he must sing again when she saw uh, their bottom with an as head as uh, he was singing she told bottom that uh, she really loved his song and requested him to sing again she has fallen in love with him at first sight due to the effect of the magical juice that was given in her eye leads by pak that was there the effect only of that here juice and that's why she was feeling attracted towards bottom bottom replies that he has little reason to feel so and yet love seldom follows reason someone should keep love and reason together titania under the effect of the magic juice is even more impressed with bottom's wisdom here as bottom talks about the love here only he told that here someone here, here he told that yet love seldom follows reason and someone should keep love and reason together so this was no doubt some very philosophical here uh, just sentence and titania is very much impressed by his wisdom but it is what here the effect of just juice of the flower that was given in her eyelids bottom says that if he was intelligent enough to get out of the wood he would be happy he expresses his desire if he goes out of the wood he would be happier titania tells bottom that he must not want to leave but she requests him not to leave the wood not to leave the forest he shall have to stay there she tells him as he was feeling madly in love with him so she told him he cannot go out of the forest he had to live in the forest there she is no ordinary fairy she can control the seasons she told that she is not like ordinary fairies she is the fairy and she can control even season she had the power she was fairy with the magic she could do so she asks bottom to come with her her fairies will attend to him she told that she had so many servants and they all would attend to him they all would serve they would be ready to serve him they will fetch him jewels from the bottom of the sea and sing to him titania told bottom that all her attendants will fetch jewels from the sea for him and they will no doubt just do all the works okay and uh, then while he is asleep on bed here flowers see uh, just see shall get rid of his badly 
form so that he can move like a fairy. She also told that just she will make just his head changed again and uh, he will like a fairy. He will come just he will change his face and he will also look like fairy. She calls her fairy attendants yeah, whose name was Peace Blossom. Whose name was cobweb, moth, and mustard seed. All they were attend attendants. Okay. Titania tells her fairy attendants to be kind and polite to Bottom. She to told because she loved him, and that's why she told all her attendants uh, to just behave respectfully to Bottom. To hop, just to jump and dance, uh, amuse him and amuse him as he walks. When he was walking, uh, she told them all to entertain him, feed him different fruits and bow to him. These were what command uh, that she gave to her attendants. As the four attendants greet bottom, he wishes to know their names. To Cobweb, he jokes that he hopes to know him better and make use of his services. If he uh, cuts his hair, uh, finger. So referring to the popular belief that Cobwebs when used a bandage help stop bleeding with air peace blossoms he jokes about okay his name which means and just here unripe peace air uh, peace code or p pod by sending his uh, compliments to his uh, just parents then what happens here, squash a plant, that is what I just uh, uh, squash a plant and uh, master uh, pea, pea scored. To must, uh, just a mustard seed, he says that the same uh, ox beef uh, that they both knew. He used up a lot of mustard. Mustard seeds family as seasoning for the meat. He also says that mustard seed family has made him cry before now, meaning both because of the fate of the mustard seed as well as their sharpness. Titania tells the servants to take bottom to her bow. She thinks that the appearance of the moon indicates here uh, rainy weather. So in this way, uh, the just uh, play comes to an end. And no doubt in the class, in just uh, I will explain you line wise as the dialogue is being delivered uh, by different hair characters. So that will be here explained in the class. Thank you students. Thank you very much.